A consumption spending consists of two components. C equals autonomous consumption plus uh, induced part of consumption. We will now spend a bit more time on the autonomous part of consumption spending. Now, autonomous consumption is that part of consumption that is not influenced by the level of income and output. Now, there are a variety of factors that can influence autonomous consumption. We can think of the interest rate. So, if the interest rate rises in the economy, it means credit is more expensive. Therefore, households will tend to borrow less from banks and therefore they will buy less goods and services. So that influences their consumption behavior. Another one is expectations, which will influence your levels of confidence, household confidence. If you have negative expectations, typically that happens during a recession, where people feel a bit less positive about the future, they will then tend to cut back on their consumption spending. We can also look the factors such as wealth. Now, many of us <coughs> have uh, uh, wealth in the form of houses, your house, or on the stock exchange. When those values changes, you tend to adjust your consumption spending. If the price of houses fall, which is what happened in 2009, um, people then tend to feel a bit less wealthy and then they tend to spend a bit less. You can also look at things like access to credit, your health. It can also be something where you use past savings to finance that part of consumption spending. Or you can get an inheritance or a gift from someone that makes it possible for you to change your consumption spending without there being a change in your level of disposable income.